One of the very first Lego sets I ever owned as a child was this, set 435 Tipper Truck. It did come out in Europe previously as set 612, same 17 piece simple build. Uh, and today, here on Brigzar, your home for vintage Lego, I, Jabo, have completed something I'm very proud of. It is the UCS version of this. So there's a style of building I've been showing you. It's where you build a brick six times the size of a normal brick. That's six times the length, width, and height. Uh, that is 216 times bigger, and we got one of those right here. The UCS tipper truck. Don't pick it up, brakes are. It's my proudest moment. I could cry. So I'm going to show you all the parts that went into building this and the process of building it. There are imperfections. It is very challenging to build this method more so than you might think and I do have room for improvement. So let me just go th walk you through all of the parts uh, that make up this 17 piece, six times the size. When I say six times, again, it's, it's six times the width, length, and height. That's six times the volume, so it's 216 times the volume <laughs> to, for this. That's why it looks so much bigger uh, than that little guy there. But yeah, let me show you all the parts. So here are the 17 pieces, and they're what they compare to. Again, 216 times bigger each piece. Uh, so let's uh, look at this, the six by six by six bigger. So two by two plate, it's basically a brick and then two plates and the tile level with uh, the bricks to hold the knobs. So everything's gonna have four by four rounds, either using the two by twos or the macaronis or uh, solid round bricks or the ones like I did on the uh, trans clear brick. But so that's the, the two by two plate, two by four plate, same thing, a brick, two plates, a tile, got three knobs and, or three tubes on the bottom. Uh, the bricks are six high, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So again, the top layer is tiles and plates. And then I got two by six bricks on the second row to kind of give it some stability. Uh, same thing with the one by four bricks, six bricks high. You got the three tubes that are two by twos under, under there. So I use two by six bricks on that layer. This one, uh, the printed element, was the one of the first the first brick that I built, and I did a video on it. But it had to do some modifications to get this thing to work. So it's not the exactly the same type of build. I use a plate on the bottom, and a lot of plates, a lot of uh, sideways builds, snot builds. There, I'm very proud of this piece. Thank you very much. <laughs> the wheels. Again, six, they're two by two, basically two by two bricks. I use these Technic bricks on the bottom. Uh, this is not the best build. I, uh, this can be improved. It's not, it has the potential to fall apart real easy, uh, but it's basically like a 12 length axle on this side and on that side, and it's held with those, the gray Technic pin things. Uh, and that's a four by six axle brick. So yeah, not the best, uh, but it, it it works. And I will be probably changing the hubcaps to another style. So again, these are all just, prelim this is my first draft and I'm, I'm very pleased with how it turned out, but yeah, I may modify this and have more of the four by four style here. I just gotta get a, there's some six by six plates, half plates that I need that are curved. I don't have those, but I need to get those to try a different look to see if it looks more like uh, this, you know, with a stud on the side. But I'm overall, I'm okay with it like this. So I use the the thinnest wheel, which is not big different. These are only like two millimeters different. So that's the front wheel. The dualies are not really dualies right now. Again, that's another thing I could modify later. Uh, the four by ten plate. This was more challenging. <laughs> 
uh, than I thought, but it's a brick and then a, having to arrange the plates where it has, has stability. So using longer tiles helped with the stability and also using solid bricks for the knobs helped. And then the trans clear, this was another challenging build because um, there's not a, a lot of trans clear parts, but I used the actual vintage slopes. I mean, I used 24 of these for this, and then I sloped it up using cheese slopes and 45 degree slopes, because it does round off at the top a little bit, and at the bottom it's a little bit higher, so that's the one brick on the bottom. And I used mo mostly just had one by six bricks. It was the cheapest ones I had to find. And then, of course, I did a video on the actual tipper, uh, very challenging build. Oh, it's fallen apart since. Uh, yeah, this this is another one of those that can be improved, and I've I've been learning some techniques that I might could use if I build another one that could be hopefully stronger. Uh, but that's the 17 parts: four yellow, one of these, three of these, two of those, that one, this one, boom, two of these wheels, that one of those wheels, and that. 17 parts. I was too afraid to do this as a live stream, but this is my first attempt uh, to build the UCS tipper. So I'm going to start with the plate and I'll turn the plate over. And I'm going to do the same with the, the little plate. And with the little plate, I'm going to go ahead and place the wheels. Because the wheels are going to be the tricky part, I think, with this. So I'm going to do those first. And so, so now I got the wheels on the little one. Oh, look at that, I'm already breaking it. So I put one of the dualies, gotta make sure I get the spacing right. See, I get more leverage, because I think with the squishiness of the wheels, it, it, I don't know, it's, I just felt like it's gonna be harder to put the wheels on after putting everything else on, because if I put everything else on, I'm gonna have to turn it upside down. <laughs> I'd rather have the wheels. On first. I think I got that on. Let's do the other dually wheel, which is not really a dually, but we're, we're going to live with it. Make sure everything's connected good. All right, and then the front wheel. Having the the tubes on the bottom, the, the those round four by fours, it helps you line it up just right. And when you, my experience in building with six wide is when you take it apart, they kind of fall apart. <laughs> so that's why I don't, I hope I get it right the first time. All right, so next we'll put on the plate. Actually, I'll do the little one first. I'm gonna put the two by two plate, which goes, it goes behind the front wheel. So line it right up against it. I need one of those mallets to kind of press things together. All right, and then one of the plates goes on other, the bottom of the two by two. So we get this plate. Okay. Uh oh, that plate's coming apart. All right. Oh no, I broke it. Oh. Yeah, that's not doing good. Look at it. Okay. All right, so we got that part built. <laughs> All right. Let me turn it, I'm going to turn it this way. All right, so what do we want to do next? Let's do, oh, you know what? I'm going to take the headlight brick and I'm going to go ahead and attach it to a two by two plate and then put it on the front like that. All right, so we take a, a plate. Did I say, it's the one by four headlight. Did I say two by four? I don't even know what I said. A one by four headlight brick and a two by four plate. I hope that's what I said. So I got a two by four plate. I got my headlight brick. Moment of truth. Oh yeah. This is the one, if it falls apart, I'm gonna be very sad. Because <laughs> it was hard to build. It was the hard, second hardest piece. Actually, yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, even though the, the tipper is bigger, this, this one was, was pretty challenging. So put this on here. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Ah. Uh. Oh, now, oh, it's hard to, 
I'm afraid to put too much pressure on. I'm afraid I'm going to break the wheels. All right, so let's do the two by two bricks. They go behind. Oh, goodness, come on. This two by two bricks go by. You can't build this like, I, I, know, I know the Lego instructions always show leaving it on the table, uh, but I know a lot of us pick up pieces, pick up the pieces as we connect them. You can't do that with this. It'll definitely wouldn't work. Oh, it's warping in the middle. <clears throat> there we go. Whew, all right, put this, I should have connected these together first. Uh. All right, we got that. Now, the windshield. We'll go there. The windshield. Don't break it, bricks are. Oh, nice. Come on, connect. Oh, it's not going in right here. Oh, man. There we go. Got it. Should have manhandle it a little bit. Nice. Now the the top brick, two by four plate, goes on top of there, and this will lock it in. So this is why I was saying the headlight, I mean the uh, windshield, did I call it a headlight? The windshield, these you won't even see them once you put the plate on top, but I still wanted it to be completed. Oh no. It's not, oh my, one of my bricks, it's not going all the way down. It's it's built right, it's just not going down. Oh goodness. Where did it come apart at? Maybe I should have put the headlight in first. Oh, this is disappointing. There's a gap over here. So that side is in. This side came apart. Yeah. Oh man, pieces are coming off. All right, so I got a the challenge of doing this. So let's take this piece back off. Please don't fall apart on me. All right, so for some reason, this one did not want to go. I'm going to try it again. Try to get this in. in. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's level there. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Oh, no. Hubcap fell off. Uh, oh, does it still roll? All right, now let's put this on. There we go. Oh, it's still not. It's, there we go. All right, oh, we got a big gap here. Something is not quite right. Hard hat, Harry. What did I do wrong? Oh, I need the hammer. Hubcap fell off again. All right, close enough. Oh, there's a gap. It's these old trans clear parts, they're not cooperating. All right. I think we got it close enough though. Ah. All right, now we'll do the yellow bricks. Oh, yes. The ones in the back. And then the finale. Put that on there. All right, don't don't break it, bricks are. Voila! Oh no! It's too wide! What happened? Oh, it fell apart. Hold on a minute. Try to fix this. What happened?
There we go. Woo! It's scary. <laughs> it's not perfect. I'm not putting anything in there right now. <laughs> All right, so it does have some imperfections with it. I got to do the windshield. It's like a half a plate too high. I think it's where some of the pieces aren't connecting good. Because I know I did the geometry right, but it's just one. Yeah, I got to press it together better, but I'm very happy with it. And the wheels, I didn't do dualies in the back, but they're sunken enough. I think that I, I could put another wheel. They would they would stick out, but it might not be that bad. Uh, so that's another possibility. Then it would be more than 17 pieces. Uh, well, it actually is more than 17 pieces. It's more like 4,000 pieces or however many pieces it took to build this. It's a thing of beauty. This is not pleasing me. It's, somehow I got the geometry a little bit wrong on the tipper. There's like one... It's like one plate too wide this way. It's pushing... Uh-oh. Yeah, it's pushing this brick. I thought I had measured it right, but yeah, it's pushing it out a little bit, but... Yeah, so I could make that... Somehow, if I could make it one... I don't know if it's possible. <laughs> oh, and it hits the studs. The, the studs have studs on them. <laughs> If they were tiles, and so maybe if they were a little lower, yeah, if they were tiles, they would they would be just a little bit lower. And I think, yeah, it's barely hitting. So, oh, it's like I need to use just, and actually it would look better, but I don't, they don't make enough of the round parts to make these um, tiles. But I, maybe I could do the ones on the, the 4 by 10 plate where I could tip it all the way, but it's hitting the stud, so it, this is just a little bit too tall. Oh man, there it is. So I gotta fix this problem here. I don't know what is going on there. But hey, you can see all the way through it. That's pretty cool. It almost looks like little seats <laughs> with the, the studs. Yeah, I'm very happy with it, but I do need to fix a few things. So you see how that brick is leaning? So I'm just a little bit too wide. You can see that one brick hanging there. I need to, where it's touching the yellow, I need to do something about that. I need to go in. I just need to make this one plate less on both sides, and then I think that would work. Yeah, but... Uh, you can, I don't know, man. It's just, it looks good to me, <laughs> despite the flaws and the trying to fall apart. <laughs> yeah, I wish that piece wasn't sticking up there. So I want to thank everybody for watching, and thank everybody that has supported this uh, fun thing, and it's been very anticipated for me. And I think a lot of you have been uh, looking forward to this. And I'm glad to show it to you. And I will be taking this, uh, barring cancellation of the show, but I will be taking it to Brick Fair, Alabama in 2022 in January. Uh, hopefully it will, won't break. <laughs> hopefully it will, won't break. <laughs> hopefully it won't break. Uh, I'm, maybe I have time to fix some of the things, but as is, it, it works as it is, even though there are these... I think the biggest thing I need to do is fix this just a little bit too wide. I thought I had the dimensions right. I don't know, maybe it's leaning. This part's leaning in the front and pushing it. But, yeah, that's the only thing that's bugging me right now is that it's pushing that brick. I keep saying... I think I said it like six times now. 
Oh, six times the size, six times the complete. Tell me what you think of this um, tipper. I'm wearing this uh, Robotron shirt that they might be bricks bought for me. Robotron is one of my favorite all-time video games uh, from the 80s. 1984? 2084 is not far away, you know. <laughs> All right, so um, thank you for watching and supporting the Tipper Truck Army. There will be more videos coming. I have 440 tippers <laughs> currently. So we're going to be doing some videos with that. And maybe we'll answer the question, how many tippers does a tipper, a UCS tipper hold? I don't know, probably like 12. I'm just looking at it. Anyway, thank you. Don't break it, Brickzar. Oh, it hit the other one. <laughs> See you guys in the next video. Just a little bit. Joseph Olson standing in a field, staring at the stars, talking but for real, holding an oversized light bulb in his arms. As we go marching two by four, out of this dream and right through that open door. Joseph Olson with that light bulb in his arms.